Parties, a very good evening to you. Quarter past nine on Saturday evening. Lovely to have you with us at Dinky Doo, Saturday the 7th of August. Wow, nothing gets past me, you know. Lovely to have you with us and uh, come and join us for a quick chit chat. Of course, we won't be up long, but it's always good to have you with us and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one. Some great discussions going on in the TikTok videos and thank you very much for that. Marvellous stuff. Hi, Scotty. Happy Saturday, says the wonderful Kareem. Lovely to have you with us, Kareem. How are you so quick off the mark? Is it your wonderful physical training, I say, but you're very, very sharp. So there we are, and a happy Saturday to you, Karim. Uh, thank you, says Rich and Rood. Uh, so who's that? Hang on. Rich and Rood, UK. Is that right? Have I got that right? Am I saying that properly? I ask you. There we go. And uh, a big thank you to you, Rich and Rood. I can tell you, True Blue Floors, lovely to have you with us. Rich and Rood, thank you so much for my beautiful red roses and for your terrific generosity and kindness the other evening in absolutely spoiling Scotty McClue. We're showering him with gifts. So there we are. Now, uh, who have we got here? More likes can attract viewers. Keep it up, says, <laughs> says TikTok. Thank you very much, TikTok. Very, very kind of you. Thank you, Richard Rood, for 13 beautiful red roses to go with the thousands that you've sent before. Very, very much appreciated. Yes, Scotty, we love you. Well, Hayden, you should have seen what I got called cretinous sewerage I got called. Uh, on a, about half an hour ago on uh, one of the videos. You'll see it there. Incredible. Good morning, Sunday here in our sixth lockdown. Wow, True Blue Floors. When is all this lockdown stuff going to stop? I don't know. Let me join. No, do join, Lucy. You're very, very welcome. You join any time you like. We're all inclusive on here. And I had such a job telling that to the LGBTQ group in my other video, which you'll see if you go on TikTok. Kareem, thank you so much for sending me TikToks. You're very, very kind, as always. Every time Kareem comes on, a TikTok, a TikTok. And then when we were on YouTube, Kareem would pop on a pound, another pound, another pound, another pound, five pounds almost every night. Incredible man. There we are. So a shout out for Campbell Campbell. Yes, you can have a shout out for Campbell Campbell. Thank you so much, Kareem. Eight beautiful TikToks. Very, very kind of you. Very kind to every single one of you who has so generously given to Scotty McClure during these TikTok lives. So kind. No obligation for anybody ever to do so, but very, very good of you. I've always boasted that um, I took applause or derision on my merits. <laughs> what about that? Evening, Scotty. Happy Saturday. Hashtag flow tie. Hit songs. How lovely to have you with us. And a big hashtag flow tie to you and a big dinky do to you. Happy Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us. And a very, very good evening to you. Thanks very much, Hayden. Very, very kind of you. If you can all uh, like and like the videos, thank you. You'll get on to the LBTQ one. LBGTQ. That one. Yes, indeed. Do you recommend any special pubs in Edinburgh? Do you know Electro Flippers? I used to know them all, but I don't know how many are still around after the pandemic. Um, when I lived in the Royal Mile, I used to pop into Jenny Hawes. <laughs> so there we are. There's one for you. This man deserves every like. Thank you. Fat Spoon with a PH. Thank you for sending us a beautiful red rose. You're very, very, very kind. And the universe, he and Den, you are just so kind. Hi, Scott, says Olith Nerd. Hello, Olith Nerd. Uh, hello, Chappy, says Wayne Shaw. Thank you very much. A bit of an advert for the old dog food there, but very good. Okay, thanks. Hee <laughs> hee. Electro flippers. Dinky do to you. But as I say, I used to know them all. Another great one was the Covenanter up in the, uh, in the Royal Mile, the Covenanters. There we are. That was another haunt of mine. But there were so many. I mean, absolutely, I could go on and on and on. Edinburgh pubs are outstanding. Uh, you know, there we are. 
Uh, Sandy Bells, that was another, that was another cracker, of course. Happening, ah, Kieran Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Happening to you, my dear fellow, what is happening? The lovely Maria Knight has joined us. Maria, thank you so much. We've just been talking about all the beautiful, generous people on here, giving and giving and giving. Absolutely. I'm there Tuesday. Check them out. Absolutely electro flippers. But as I say, I don't know. So Norman McCaig's favorite. Was that Sandy Bell? John, yes, or did he pop into the Covenanter? There we are. Don't send me doing the swaddy. Olive nerd, why would I ever do that? You haven't trolled me. My goodness, I was getting trolled on that LBTGQ. And you should have a look at that. What football team do you support, says Joseph? What I would suggest, Joseph, I don't support any financially now. But uh, I would suggest you go along and have a look at Celtic and Rangers. Maria, thank you for sending me confetti. Yes, Sandy's, says John Young. See, Edinburgh's a little bit like London. It's got these tiny pubs. A lot of the Glasgow pubs are pretty big, uh, you know. Don't troll, don't scroll. Ricky G, you're so 100% spot on. Scotty, the main man, hope you're well. Hi again, Scotty. Remember me? Can I get a dinky do? Hannah, of course you can get a dinky do. Everyone can get a dinky do on Scotty. Can everybody follow, please? Just click follow, top left, uh, little plus sign. And also, I need somebody going liking all the TikTok videos. I've uploaded new stuff for you. Lots of new stuff. A wonderful interview in America with the two T double O grumpy critics. I love joining your lives where well, you're very welcome, Olive. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Neil, for following. Neil O'Gormley has followed. What a top man down there in the south of England, Bournemouth. Am I right, Neil? Uh, dinky do. Thanks for sharing the live, folks. Thank you for following. Ian Rankin's favourite, the Oxford Bar. Oh, my goodness, John Young. There we are. Well, we need to pop in and maybe get a glimpse of Ian. Ian Rankin has written um, a, a chapter about phone-ins in one of his books. And somebody once asked him, was it based on Scotty McClue? So there we go. I wonder. We shall find out. But what a top man he is. I can't. There we are. Another great man was Ian Banks or Ian M. Banks. I think they were one and the same for different things. And I can remember reading, I didn't know about this till I'd read it in the paper. Somebody had put me up for it. Uh, the rectorship of Stirling University, three candidates. One was Ian M. Banks, the author, late Ian Banks, and a wonderful man. The other was uh, His Royal Highness the Prince Edward. And the other one was Scotty McClure. So there we go. But apparently the paperwork got messed up and I didn't get the rectorship of Stirling University, but I may yet get the rectorship of another one. I don't know, perhaps even Glasgow, following in the footsteps of John Reith. Imagine that. And, uh, and who else? Tom Honeyman. People like that. You're the best part of TikTok. Let's get lunch sometimes. I thank you, Thirst Strap. Uh, there's a lot of talk of moving back onto YouTube. I don't know how that would suit the TikTokers, though. Fantastic. So there you are. Do you know where Ian Ann Banks was born and brought up? Was it not Paisley John? Because he wrote Espadier Street. So I thought, was he not a Paisley man? My dad's called Scotty and he's from Dundee. We love Dundee, Blaine. Doing to the Claypots Castle at the end of the Kingsway. Turn left and get yourself along to the Brochty Ferry. Ah, uh, did you do? It was Gurick, my friend. Ah, John. Amazing. You are a very, very wise man. A fount of knowledge. I thought he was a Paisley man. Uh, I wonder if he lived in Espadale Street or round about that in Paisley. I wonder if he got a flat there or if it was just a, a novel. Uh, can I get a Hoya? Of course you can get a Hoya Hlieb. Hlieb Mac. Everybody can get a hoya from Scotty McClue. Dinky do, I say. Lovely to be with you. Now then, Dinky do, Scotty, you certainly got rumble responses on the LGBTQS conversation. Yes, I was called cretinous sewage by some sort of slightly crazy looking woman. There we are. Uh, so fantastic stuff. Uh, but have a look at it. It certainly attracted 
quite a response. I think about five and a half thousand. Having a look at it, and we had to switch off the comments, and we had to switch off the stitches and the lives and that because it was just too much. You know, it was going all the time. The phone was going bananas. I couldn't move for ping, 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 ping. Every day going berserk. And of course, all I had done was asked a very simple, very pleasant question to see if the LBGTQ um, movement was ready to move forward and accept streets and become LGBTQs. You know, I think that would be rather a nice touch. A mortal supporter too, less said about that, the better. No, man the ton. I say, he wore the mortal top on Uni Challenge. Wow, John Young. The comments were getting out of hand. They were unknown. They were getting ridiculously out of hand. But also a couple of toxics. Very controversial, but a very good argument. Well, this is it, all Brecken. You see, I don't understand. I ask a question, and then people start to abuse you for asking the question, but they'll tell you they're the most all-encompassing, understanding. I mean, think about it. L-B-G-T-Q, right? So it's got all the lot. So why not just bring in the streets, educate them on what you're all about? You know, that sort of thing. Can you say happy 80th birthday to Mel Fletcher? I can indeed. Yes, yes, welcome, welcome, I say. Some people were being very rude. You were just asking a question, Scotty. I was division. I was asking a question. It's so crazy. If you say something on the internet that people don't like, they then start telling you, you must be mentally ill. Projecting their own condition Onto you or attempting to, you know. Shout out to the Paisley folks, Scotty, Aaron Dugan. A shout out to the buddies. We love the buddies. Just beautiful people. What a tough time Paisley's had over the year. I'll tell you, John Young, you'll like this one. Did you know Willie Gallagher was from Paisley? The socialist. <laughs> Imagine saying that in Scotland. I, I was that the socialist. Are you bringing back the old recipe, Scotty, with these questions, if you know what I mean? Well, wonky pint, it's, uh, it's food for thought, isn't it? The only thing is you obviously have to word things well and properly, and I think you'll agree we did that. You know what I mean? In terms of pubs, nothing comes close to the snug in the Globe Inn. Ah, John Young. Yes, it did. Where are you talking? Where are you talking the globe in? Tell me more. Uh, some of the old snugs, a lot of them have disappeared, but I actually, as a student, used to drink in the snugs. Along uh, at Queen Street, there was one just opposite there. Uh, I do agree the comments just got out of hand. Yeah, they just got crazy, crazy. That's what you call classic projection. Yes, it did. And we had some little woman had popped up. And she was doing her nut. She said, I've come across this guy a couple of times. Then she told me I was all over the internet. And she obviously knew me very well. But she'd only come across a couple of times. Oh, love from Boston, Massachusetts. It's like when I'm introduced to a broadcaster, they go, hey, excuse me, this is Scotty McClure. They go, oh, now I've heard the name. Do me a favor. They are, but see, when I'm ever phoning a broadcast station, I always start with, I'm not sure if the name will ring a bell with you. <laughs> Do you like it? Love from Boston, Massachusetts. We love you, Boston. Have you got the globe going? G. Chandler in Massachusetts, United States of America. Thank you so much, you beautiful people. Hi, Scotty. It's your friend from Canada, Baroness Susan. How privileged are we to have you on here? Did you know the Baroness from The Sound of Music? The Globe Inn in Dumfries. Oh, there, the Globe. I know what you're talking about now, John. And, of course, the Hole in the Wah. Yes, indeed, the Globe. Yes, Mum's house, where he would do his stuff. In fact, was he not going with... <laughs> do you like my choice of words there? Was he not going with one of the waitresses in the Globe? Maria Knight, what have you done? OMG. Maria Knight, now she did this two nights ago, has just given me a diamond king.
Guys, a diamond king is worth a small fortune. Maria, I, how can you do this? It's so kind of you and so lovely, but my goodness me, it's a, it's a small fortune. I tell you, what's the chat, Scott? A huge chat to Maria's just sent a diamond king. If you're on the phone end, she wouldn't be bad mouthing you. No, she would. Well, she might lose it a bit. She looked like a kind of angry girl, you know. I think you know, and she was very, very rude. And she, she said a naughty word as well. Now, I don't. I mean, don't think I'm any great saint, guys. I'm not purporting to be, but I tend not to swear on the internet because we're guests in people's houses, and this girl was effing and jeffing, shocking. I had a summer camp counsellor named Scott, who's from Scotland. Quite a coincidence. Absolutely, G. Chandler. How beautiful to have you here. Have you got the Boston Globe there? I uh, think her lift doesn't go to the top story. She was trying to say that I really took the biscuits out of the picnic or something. I think she was trying to be clever, but it wasn't working. There we go. Imagine trying to be clever. It's got to be true. But now, Wonky Pie, you will agree with me, yeah? Um, that the, the best ones ever were the people that said to me, go and educate yourself, Scotty, learn a bit about the history. I was weak at that. Can you give a shout out to my good friend at his anniversary? No, Matthew Quinn, I can't, because you don't have a good friend, and it's not his anniversary. And that's not his name. So that's three lies you've told me, right? Just watch this, guys. Three lies that Matthew Quinn 54 has told on coming on. What shall we do with Matthew? I want to know, TikTokers. So there we go. Listen to you back in the 90s legend, sir. Scottish lad, I salute you, sir. You're amazing, says X Random Things. I thank you, X Random Things. We visit the grave of John McLean today. Wow, John Young. Are you, was that the socialist? There we are. Yes, indeed. John McLean, the wonderful John McLean. A remarkable, remarkable man. Gave away his coat uh, to some poor soul that didn't have one and got himself a chill. And I think that took him away, John McLean. And, of course, they put him in the slammer. They should never, ever have done that. They put him in the slammer for being left-wing, highly educated man. Lived, now don't tell me, don't tell me, I've got to get this right, lived in Newlands, one of the terraced houses in Newlands. John McLean, where is his grave, John? Out of interest, do tell. Doing this one, he with them? Yeah, I think we'll go back. We'll go back and we'll put Matthew Quinn doing the Swanee for being puerile and for trolling Scotty McClue, for daring to troll Scotty McClue. Right, Matthew's going down the Swanee in three, two, one. Gone! Toast! Woo! First troll down the Swanee tonight, guys. There we are. Now, who we got here? Dinky do. Uh, the Bankers won 4 1 against Largs today. Mon the Bankers! Mon the Bankers. Was there a big crowd there? Any phone in radio gigs in the offing? Uh, Neil, nothing at the moment. They're all kind of settled in their own little jukebox world, just hoping to coin the money in Kerching and a totally personality less radio. And I, I obviously assume that there's listeners. Doing the Swarry said Nicky G. Yes, it did. Swarry time. Swarry, the Red Clyde Cider. Along with Jimmy Maxton. I mean, John wasn't on his own. It Jimmy Maxton as well, didn't he? And uh, who else did who else did we have of that ilk? And then of course there was um your man from Lossie Mouth. Yes, the first Labour Prime Minister. J. Ramsey MacDonald, J.R.M. in uppercase was his signature. I've seen it. Uh, I've seen his signature. J.R.M. he signed himself. A well-meaning cove was J.R.M. Uh, there we are. Now, who have we got here? Educate Matthew Scotty. Oh, Rocky Horror. Not off. Is that the new Simit, Scotty? This is my Simit. I didn't have time to put on my shirt. I was lying out back, taps off. 
Thereabout well, is buried in Old Eastwood. Now, is Old Eastwood, don't tell me, don't tell me, I've got to get this right, the Thornley Bank Road, the old cemetery, just as you're coming into Thornley Bank on your left, or there's one on the right as well, I think. Is it the same that the road has has bisected at some time? But I'm sure there's a cemetery on the left, and I'm sure there's one on the right slightly further down towards... Um, now, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Towards Pollock Shaw's. Right, two old cemeteries there. Am I correct? Can I have a shout out for Campbell? Campbell, we gave you one. Are you pay attention, man. Jerry says, hello from Ireland. Hello, Jerry. How are you now? How lovely to have you with us from the old country. Fantastic. Lived in Pollock Shaw's, not Newlands. Close, though. Nine out of ten. Thank you, John. Thank you. But uh, there's a cemetery on either side, isn't there? Which is Old Eastwood. Hello from Ilkley. How are you? On Ilkley Moor Bat Hat. Without your hat, I've stood outside a pub looking up onto Ilkley Moor off the main street, correct? Once I bought my hat in the Outfitters. Hello from Ireland. Hello, Ireland. How are you? How are you, sir? It's only Ravel. We're fantastic. There's something inherently satisfying about delicious dipping food. Well, scenic music, this is why I love Indian and Chinese food, because you can have another wee dip and another wee dip. And the same in Greece, the Mediterranean food with the, the Metsis, poor Greece and Crete. Love to Athens. Pray for Athens. You're on the money there, Scotty. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, we're full, we're full. Hello from Melo. You're spot on, Scotty. Old Eastwood and New Eastwood Road separates the two back to 10 out of 10. I thank you. Now, Old Eastwood, I think, will be the upper one. Towards Thornley Bank, just as you go over Thornley Bank Station, could that be a possibility? Yes, just just before the station, the old cemetery, there's a lodge there. Scotty, I just found out about my great grandfather's brother that he was a famous boxer, Sean. How fantastic! I found out the other day that I'm royal. Oh, <laughs> well, half of people go, "Aye, so yeah, right, that'll be right." Facts are facts, guys. I mean, I'm not bothered about it. Good stuff, mate. Thank you. It's on a river. No problem at all. I just realized that... What have you got, Kyle? So am I, says Sean. There's a certain pleasure inherent in dippable finger foods. We've just talked about that. Do you like a buffet? I quite like a buffet. I was once at a wedding and I was going along and I had... Uh, I helped myself to some pork pie and some scotch egg and uh, a ham sandwich, and uh, some guacamole, and some coleslaw, and some potato salad, and a breadstick, and some salami, and some ham, and some beef. And then I went on and I thought, I've already got all these, because it was doubled so they could go in at both ends and part in the middle. O'Sullivan's were kings in Ireland. They were indeed, Sean. You're a top man. Son of Sullivan, son of Sullivan. You see, follow the host. My granny's cousin was one of the Earls of Snowden. Absolutely the Armstrong Jones. Yes, indeed, J.D. Now, who have we got here? Callum has just joined us. A very, very warm welcome. We'll not be up for long, guys, but do come and join us. Have you quit using Facebook and YouTube platforms? No, Neil, I was just going to say, there's quite a lobby for me to go back on Facebook and YouTube because, but the Facebook, you see, they've cut down who's seeing me. So I think that's your problem. You see, what I would like Facebook to do is open me up to the whole platform. So apparently there's about, I don't know, is it 2 billion or 4 billion or something quite crazy on there. Uh, we want Scotty merch, yes, but would the TikTokers come and join me on YouTube? Or are they all the new generation, I say? YouTube's less restricted. Well, this is it, some dude. Uh, you know, and we, we, we were great last year. I mean, it was fair booming along. But I, I decided to go TikTok just to try it. 
and then of course the success of it you know but uh, would you guys join me there to still keep in touch with your pal angus simpson john i haven't seen angus for a while angus and i worked together at border television and then angus came up to scottish television and so did i and then Angus went to uh, Saga Radio, and he was excellent. And the last time I saw Angus was at the, the Glasgow Publicity Club dinner. That's the pub club. That's some time ago. Please do a YouTube phone in. Some did. I think that might be a winner. What about just getting a burner phone and going for it? Hi from Elgin and Murray. Uh, Peter, I love Elgin. I'm usually in Elgin at this time of year. I went to the circus last year. But, oh, no, two years ago, the circus. And the ringmaster came up and he said, hello, how are you? And I thought, you're familiar, but how can I possibly know the ringmaster in the circus? And it was, it was the wonderful Norman that uh, ran the Blackpool Circus and I'd interviewed him about 28 years before. Scotty, how are you? Sorry, I wasn't here for a while. I went to Galway for two days, click start. That's a fabulous reason for not being here. We adore Galway. I used to just see when I go to Galway, I always go into the cathedral. It's so beautiful. I love it. And it's open. I know you did. Eric Wallace was a hard act to beat. Eric Wallace was an outstanding man. Lovely, lovely man, Eric, and very kind to me. And he used to say to me, Ah, my maiden aunts are sending regards. They thoroughly appreciate you. I used to read the news in a white suit. Scotty, how are you? I'm sorry I wasn't here. Oh, yes, go away. We've been there. Have you been a fisherman? No, but my family were fishermen going way back. And then they went to sea and became master mariners, deep sea captains and chief engineer. Fantastic. Beautiful people. At Lossie Green, I know Lossie Green so well, Peter. Love it. And I used to sit out of an evening at the, uh, you'll know it, is it the... Um, it's not the Scarabree it's called, is it? What's that? You tell me, tell me, tell me, for goodness sake. On the tip of my tongue, and I would sit out and just watch the sunset over the Murray Firth. What a privilege. What a privilege. Ah, can you tell me your finest joke? My finest joke. Right. An hotelier phones the Coleman, and he's a real smarty pants hotelier. And he says to him, it's an old Yorkshire Coleman, the old collier. And he says to him, ah, yes, is that called? Ah, yeah, oh, coal speaking. He says, right. He said, I want several bags of your grade A delivered to the hotel. And can I have it too sweet, as the French would say? And the old Yorkshireman goes, aye, the can that. Dost thou want it a la carte or cul de sac? Is that beautiful? There you are. What's your thoughts on Glasgow Rangers? There's no team. Like, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, oh, yes, a, a very good football team. Yes, absolutely. We like the Glasgow Rangers. Fall, oh, fall. Stop, stop, stop. So there we are. Um, yes, no, they're absolutely a, a very, very good team, I believe, from what I know of. Simply the best. Stop, stop. Uh, yes, I think they're quite a good team, Glasgow Rangers. So there we are. Um, where are you from in Scotland, Ross? I am from Scotland in Scotland, from the west coast, the Glasgow side. Morning to the Duke of Dundee. Good morning, Onion Badgie. How lovely to have you with us. From, where are you from, uh, Australia? Did you tell me, Onion Badgie, you need to remind me. William Wallace, my hero, our JD Cricket. William Wallace, what a man. Uh, please say hi to Jamie and Liam. There they are. Please say the smell of cheese. Well, somebody can have the had a wee bit of the gorgonzola. Uh, my father's side started in Wales. They were sent to Nova Scotia for aiding the Scots. How very, very wrong of whoever sent them. Having said that, I hope they set up a Welsh place in uh, Nova Scotia. And I hope they go to chapel and sing beautifully. There we are. Fantastic. Guys, can you get on to my TikTok video channel, please? I, what do you do? Am I right? Do you click the plus at the top? Because there's comments coming all the time. And I need somebody to have a look and see what's being said. Scotty, I'm part of the young generation, but they can't take on board other points of view. Ty talk, I know what you mean. And I think they're not used to longer videos. 
They can't concentrate, and I think they're not used to being told straight, so they start to cheek up. That's the problem. Regarding gender politics, yes, Tai Tong, I mean, I'm only asking a question. I was saying, is the LBGTQ movement ready to move forward and accept straight people? And oh, they went up in a blue light. There we are. Love the joke. Did you like that one? Good evening from Rebecca's Playroom, Scotty. Good evening, Liam and Dinky Do. And the opening today of the Pit and Weem Tidal Pool. Um, so there we are. Are you one of the many puzzle mermaids? No, no, John, I'm too young. If you want to hear The Mermaid, go on to YouTube and put in Scotty McClue, The Mermaid. Yes, farewell to the land. And I've written a tune for the accordion and telling the story about a mermaid. Look it up, YouTube, The Mermaid. Scotty McClure, the mermaid. Guten Tag from Germany. Guten Tag. Nach nicht Deutsche sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. There we are, Scotty. I've been a few weeks since I've been on. Hope you're well. Ah, the real Rudy. And lovely to have you with us. Rudy or Rory? Scotty boy, says Orion Marky. Far too much, Bucky. Dinky do. I think they all need to go for a wee sleep. Ding, ding. I think they do. I think they haven't acknowledged the monks of Buckfast Abbey. Late tonight, Scotty. Not too bad, Blue Swan. Please say hi to Isaac and Alan. Of course I can. Scorpio, Nova Scotia, New Scotland, 100% correct, JD. Nothing gets past you, I say. We love it. Who is your favorite famous person from the past and why? Uh, Jesus Christ is number one because he chose to die on the cross out of sheer thoughtfulness and, and pity and love for his fellow man. And also, I don't, poor old Pontius Pilate, I mean, I'm not pointing the finger, but he could have done better than listen to a baying mob. Free Barabbas. So, sehr gut, Scotty. Ja, ja, ja sehr gut, ja. Danke schön, danke schön. Yeah, mine hair. Uh, who's your favorite famous person? So there we are. James Watt, the engineer who invented the steam engine. No, I'm sorry, purists. We've had this argument. He did not invent the steam engine. He invented the condensing steam engine. Yes, but without the condenser, the steam engine really isn't much of a steam engine. Very, 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 very inefficient. There we are. Uh, I used to date a mermaid, but she had... The top half a fish and the bottom half a woman. Just my luck. Never mind. I'm sure you managed to have a bit of fun together. You've got a face for the wireless. I know handsome. And I started on television. Yes, indeed. I was all these years on television. And then I thought, I think I'd fit the wireless better. Scotty, how are you this evening? Can you give, me, can you give my girlfriend Lorraine and I a shout out? Stephen. You and Lorraine are getting a massive shout out from Scotty McClure and from the whole world. Dinky do, I say. Guys, has anybody followed tonight or have we just forgotten all that? Can we have some followers? Uh, I'm thinking about also popping onto YouTube. Would you join me on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel? You'll see the URL in front of you. In fact, we might go on tonight. It's a shame that Greenock does not celebrate James Watt more. John Young, they should. They've done up the old James Watt Nautical College in Dalrymple Street, and they've, uh, you know, refurbished James's statue. But there should be a lot more. Mind you, the James Watt College, that's not a bad thing, and that's situated where the old Greenock Academy was, where I first went to school. Thank you, dinky-doo fella. Not at all, Stephen. A privilege and a pleasure. My Irish wife says, Hi, Scotty. Patricia is her name. Hi to Patricia, I say to you. My goodness, what a great lass from Ireland. What do we do with the drunken sailor? We put him in the scuppers till he's sober, I say. Now, uh, what have we got here? Hooray, up she rises. There we are. I think I should do my sea shanty. But as I say, the nearest we got was a little lemonade in our beer when I was at sea, and that was a sea shanty. Now, um, Kerry has just joined us. Welcome, Kerry. Lovely to have you with us, guys. It's 10 to 10. It's time I wasn't here. What's your favourite song? The Song of the Clyde. Uh, 
I'll sing of a river I'm happy beside. The song that I'll sing is the song of the Clyde. Of all Scottish rivers, it's dearest to me. It flows all the way from the hills to the sea. It borders the orchards of Lanark Sophia, meanders through meadows with sheep gazing there, grazing there. And from Glasgow to Greenock, with towns on each side, the hammer's ding-dong is the song of the Clyde. Also sung by my beautiful friend Kenneth McKellar. What? Uh, uh, how are you doing, Scotty boy? Oh, we're great. I'm Scots. The wife's Irish. Good mix. Very good mix. JD critic. Bit of liveliness there, I would say to you. Glenn Daly live at the Ashfield. Didn't come close to K. McKay. Nobody was good, John. I liked Glenn Daly. You know, and they used to scream and whoop with delight. You know, the Celtic could have Park Head and, and uh, we could go to Newton Mairns and the Rangers and Ibrooks and all that. Glenn Daly was good. Mr. Glasgow, he called himself. But Kenneth McKellar was an outstanding ambassador for Scotland. And I used to see him as a student. Lovely man. And I used to go and see him. Wonderful. And he did charity performances at the Theatre Royal with Bill McHugh. Another great, great man, lovely singer, Big Bill. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Thoughts on armchairs. We love them. I'm sitting right now on a, an ancient Bentwood armchair uh, belonging to my father. Lovely. So there we are. It's a Bentwood armchair. How good is that? What a game at Tanadice today, Scotty boy. Absolutely, you Tanadice lads. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Thank you very much. Conor McGregor. Is that you, says Kevs? Fantastic. Now then, ooh, fancy, says Heron. Yes, there you are, you see. There's a lot more to McClue than just being an athlete, you know. Uh, right, what have we got? Who else is joining us? Holy has joined us. So there we are. Holy, how lovely to have you with us. Han Hao and uh, Ni Hao to Holy. So there you go. Welcome, 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 I say. Uh, I'm an athlete as well, of course, Heron. You are indeed. Do you remember the theatre in Gurak? Harry Lauder played the Cragburn Pavilion. Harry must have been quite old because I think the Cragburn was 1936. And I used to rehearse in the Cragburn with the Greenock Light Opera Club. And I'll tell you who I saw singing in the Cragburn was Alec Finlay and his royal clansmen. And my darling, lovely Uncle Bill was with us. And Uncle Bill, I thought he was going to end himself with laughter. They were just so funny. Big Ronnie Coburn was there. Marvellous people. Uh, Alec Finlay and his royal clansmen. And Alec played uh, Harry Lauder, came on as Harry Lauder. The crack bun, and it was packed. Absolutely packed. And uh, and my father was playing in the band. I remember that. Now, Andy Colvin, you're 100% wrong there, la. You'll have to go and get your satisfaction somewhere else. You mustn't judge everybody by yourself, Andy. Shall we send Andy down the Swanee for trolling, guys? Yes, let's send Andy down the Swanee for being in denial. Mm -hmm. There you go, Andy, la. That'll teach you. Bye. Fantastic. Right. There he is. He's gone. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Lovely to have you with us. And a very big dinky do to you. Tremendous stuff. Now, who else have we got? Name a football player for an edit. George Best. That should have done your edit pretty good. Fantastic. Uh, you have helped with my Crichton ancestry. Not at all. Yes, the admirable Crichton. J.D. Critic, Crichton Hospital in Dumfries, Crichton Royal. Then you've also got the um, Crichton Stewarts, I think, are the Marquesses of Butte. So have a look at that, Crichton Stewart. There you go, Sir Harry Lauder and Anne Valance. Was it Anne Valance or Mary Valance? I'm just trying to think. And his son, Captain John Lauder, who was shot dead. And somebody hinted it could have been by his own men. And um, his name is on the War Memorial outside the Queen's Hall in Danoon. 
Captain J.C. Lauder, I think it is. There we are. Fantastic. Or J.M. Lauder. You'll see it there. And his son is buried at Glen Branter along with his wife. I'm sure it was Anne, Scotty. Well, there we go. Do you know where Sir Harry was from originally, Stephen? John Young, you're barred from answering this. There we are. I can tell you he was a Portobello man. So you've got Harry Lauder Road in Portobello. What about that? Ah, oh, McClure's not just an athlete. I can remember the first Greenock film you showed me in school called Leaving. Heron, that was just outstanding. Paul Young was in it. Alex Norton was in it. Who else? Alex McCrindle was in it. Um, oh, some fabulous, fabulous, fabulous actors in that. Very, very good. A very good movie. Oh, Jerry Slevin was the headmaster. Yes. Any boy who brings the school into disrepute will be answerable to me. Oh, ho, ho. fantastic. Leaving. Made about 1980, written by Danny Boyle. Of course, set a Catholic school in Greenock. There we are. And um, although somebody told me it was filmed in Glasgow. And um, <clears throat> it was just a just a great movie. Look for it leaving. There we are. And uh, set in 1960. Jerry Kelly, uh, Kelly was in it as well. Well, he wasn't in it because he left in the first few seconds. Crichton and Dumfries introduced set the Sultans of a Man would often hire out the wards. My goodness. Scotty, how's your day, my man? Dinky, do lovely to have you with us for 10. Been an outstanding day today. Mr. Crichton's ancestors were all in combat as well, myself. So proud, J.D. I'm very proud of you, J.D., but you're a flyer, aren't you? You're, a, you're an RAF man. There we are. I've had some very nice chats with an air marshal. Scotty, did you work in the film industry? Yes, bits and pieces, Mikey. I worked mainly in television. Television, radio, opera, the theatre, management, acting, um, reading the news, doing television continuity announcements, doing voiceovers for big business, advising uh, top people on their media. Oh, on it goes and on it goes, working with young people, teaching, lecturing, primary, secondary, tertiary education, higher education, visiting professor, visiting lecturer, all these things. And um, I love just having a chat with people on the internet. There we are. But uh, what I would like while I'm still on the earth because this country doesn't really appreciate anybody until they've popped their clogs. Then they're all over them. The weeping and wailing starts then, you know. And uh, I can remember the late Morris Lindsay, the poet, having a conversation with the late Nicky Fairbairn, who could have been Lord Advocate. But he was quite an outrageous character, Nicky, but wonderfully, brilliant, brilliantly clever man, chairman of the Traverse Theatre, restored a castle at Fordell in Fife. A uh, terrific guy. Anyway, that was Nicky. And here, Morris Lindsay. Morris Lindsay was a terrific character as well. Critic for the, for the Herald, the music critic, violinist, um, musician par excellence, poet, writer, manager, program controller of border television. I missed him. I didn't work with Morris, but I, I would love to have great presenter taking over. Morris could have took over a program that was failing and made a success of it. He was very, very good. And he was chatting to Nicky Fairburn, and he said, um, you know, he said, you know, Morris, you know, I think it was, Nick, Morris said to Nicky, you know, Nicky, if you do more than one thing well in Scotland, they hate you. And Nicky said, no, Morris, if you do one thing well in Scotland, they hate you. And I was right at the peak with Scott FM. We could have taken it another year and made fortunes for the owners. And along comes some half wit and just shuts it down, you know. I don't know, but there we are. Great movie, Mr. Magoo. No, no, that's Mr. McClue. There we go. Doing the swatty. Yes, he did tell Nigel he'll go do the swatty. 
Fantastic. Fighter pilot, yes, JD. Fantastic. Apparently the typhoons were launched last night because there were some Russian spotter planes in the in the UK airspace. So there we go. Figured by your knowledge of the industry and how you talk with it. Ah, yes, Mikey, yes. Well, film, television, all that theatre, acting. I'm very, very good at directing, actually. I can remember a very senior man saying to me when I was a senior student in television, and he said, he said, you're using real television shots. I was directing a, a production of Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett, uh, an Irishman. And um, I can remember taking shots of inside Vladimir's and Estragon's boots <laughs> with Pozzo. Waiting for Godot. There we are. Now, fantastic. Stop spamming yourself in the chat. Is Nigel making a nuisance of himself? Hurricane boy, we shall send him doing the swatty if he is. We don't put up with that. Uh, what you're getting out is M. What you're getting out is M. Any of it voluntary. Uh, Charles, yes, I mean, I have done things just to help people out, and I've known they've got no budget uh, to speak of, and they've said, what do we owe you, Scotty? And I said, nothing. More fool me, or was that really a nice thing to do? You know what I mean? I said, nothing, no, no, it's it's free. I said, once you can get yourself a proper director, you can pay them, but for me, just free. And Dad, they said, oh, we want to hire you. So there we are. So yes, yes, Charles. So in answer to your question, I've occasionally helped people out. Very odd behavior, says John Young. What? What is John? Tell us more. Uh, he shouldn't be on TikTok. Who's that, 90s? Who shouldn't be? This guy. Who are we talking about here? Doing the Swanee with Nigel. There we are. Why not? Why should he not be on TikTok? What are we talking about, Charles? A couple of days ago, he said the place is where smart people meet. Well, it is 90s. Very, very smart. Everybody watching this right now, unless there's a troll, is uh, is highly, highly, highly intelligent. You'll not get any idiots watching Scotty McClue on TikTok. You might get some idiots attacking me on the videos. Have a look at the one about the LBGTQ. LBGTQ, the smartest people, the very smartest. Yes, indeed. Okay, no one cares. Um, Hurricane Boy, yes, yes, well, I think we do, we do care. He has some knowledge, some knowledge of what, Charles Clark? Ask me anything, and I'll give you the answer. We'll see how much knowledge you've got, Charles. That's what we're after here. They're bringing the trams back, but twice as big, and Susie will pull them with the chain off. Oh, thank you very much, Ryan. Very good. Typhoons, is that a brand of... Uh, of tea bags, yes, indeed, absolutely, Charles. That's the typhoons, Charles. We wouldn't expect you to know anything about this. Remember, you're not the sharpest tool in the box, so you might be best to just do a wee bit of observation and listening and then learning. And we'll see how you go. That's the stuff. Very funny, man. Uh, flew up through the Russian beard a few times. Ah, they are GD, absolutely. Do you look at them? Uh, do you, are you allowed to give them a? Or a one of these, or a, a one of these. <laughs> I'd love to sit in the banks of the Clyde with you and have a blather ship talk memories. I had John Young, just like in leaving. You know, it's so dangerous, but we actually used to do that, just sit at the harbour, crazy stuff, and talk ships. And I can remember the, all the ships. John, are you too young to remember all the Cal Mack and McBrain ships laid up for the winter in the Albert Harbour? Oh, it was incredible. And the wee Ashton and Leaven tied up beside them. We're talking about maybe around 1964, 65, that kind of thing. Reels always best on the on boots, yep. First Lord of the Internet, we love you. Jam, 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 you're very, very kind. Uh, how old's your old bonnet, Mr. McGrew? 29 years, the same as Scotty McClue. Uh, I remember listening to you on Century Radio. Oh, Joe, was that Century Radio was outstanding. See, these big radio stations, I think the, the powers that be panic. They panic because it's so big. 
you know, and they get a million complaints, but they can't they can't deal with it and just say it doesn't matter. There's nothing there. Do you know I've only had one complaint upheld in 29 years? One complaint upheld about anything I've said in 29 years. And even that we thought was dodgy, you know, very thin, very thin evidence because I'd used a word properly. So that should never have happened. Scotty, did you still work on the radio, pal? Came off the radio last year, Clarkie 100. Uh, we heard you. Yes, Sammy the Goat, we know, we know. You can't hide, no, no, but you can run, Sammy. Yes, we uh, care, but he's spamming bad emoji chat. Who is, uh, who's who's doing it? Uh, stick us a name in, Hurricane, and we'll just bin him off right now. Bring the call in back. There we are, Sammy the Goat, we heard you farting. No, you didn't, because I never, ever, ever farted on air. So I think you heard yourself and you blamed me to the other people in your room. There we are. Cheeky hat. There we are. Fantastic. Sammy, stop being silly. Right. Sammy's going down the swanee, guys. No. Bye-bye, Sammy. Bye-bye, son. Bye-bye, Sammy. Let's never troll again. Lawyer, some kid. There you go. Charles. Sammy's doing the Swanee guys. Thank you, Blue Swan. Good old Francie and Josie gag, but they used Pat Lally. So there you are, but it's changed well. Francie and Josie have sadly left us, but I was so privileged to know them and love them. And I was at their very last show, and it was outstanding. Love them. Francie and Josie. Yes, very close to the Bears. You could see their faces at times. Absolutely, JD, but uh, you don't acknowledge them. Uh, you just have to. Although, having said that, if a bear was in trouble, would you be sent up to, to help them out or escort them out the airspace or find out what was wrong? Do you know what I mean? Is there some kind of international treaty that you would just help out? If you said one of the old MiGs there, their engines just popped. Well, go and get them down then, for heaven's sake or pick them up out the sea, or, you know, that sort of idea. You're looking fresh, pal, looking fresh in the background. Oh, the dog looks fresh. There's the dog. Look at him. I, I need to come back in to get the light right. There's the dog on my chroma key. <laughs> I'm odd to get rid of the haters. Very few haters on here, Hurricane Boy. Very, very few. Some puerile people who aren't mature enough to handle the stream because they're used to just looking at caca and junk. And uh, then they come across McClure and it's just it's different class, isn't it? Different class. How do you feel about the British Irish lines losing? You'd no right to bring that up. There we are. Too young, just that I've loved to have seen that. We talked of Kilcreggan Ferry early this week. Well, can Kilcreggan Ferry, the Lady Jane and the Port Star, used to go to Kilcreggan, and they were owned by Ritchie Brothers. And W.R., Walter Roy Ritchie, was originally one of the Ritchie Brothers, but he branched out in his own, I think, around 1956. And they'd built the Lady Jane. I think she was solid teak with a, um, a two-cylinder Kelvin. You could hear her coming because uh, the, the, the Kelvins would clack, clack. Somebody said it was just, uh, uh, they said it used to just go bang, bang, bang. I said, no, no, it was a two-cylinder. It went bang, 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 bang. There we are. And she would take you over to go Craig, and then they were excellent. And uh, then I worked with Roy from the age of 12. I worked with Roy, and we were on the Granny Kemper. The Westering Home, which was an old harbour launch, a 52-foot solid teak. The Granny Kempick was an MFV. And then the Ashton was bought from CSP and renamed the Gorokian. And then one day, Roy and I were in the Granny Kempick passing Guruk Pier. We'd come over. We were going on our way to Danoon. And um, the Countess of Bredalbin, Denny's Countess of Bredalbin, the CSP, from 1936, twin Glenifer six cylinders. And she was sitting at the pier, and I said to Roy, how many would it take to run that boat? And he said, you and me. And uh, sadly, I'd left by that time. 
Uh, I left at 15, and about three weeks ago, I was in touch with my old skipper. Uh, Roy sadly has passed away. Lovely, lovely man, Roy Ritchie, and his lovely wife, Kate. Well-known Gurokians. There we are, lovely, lovely people, but it was great. And in the winter, John, all the um, CSPs that were summer traffic, uh, including perhaps things like the King George V, would uh, would go up to the Albert Harbour. So you'd have the Duchess of Hamilton, the Duchess of Montrose, the Waverley, the Ginny Deans, the Queen Mary II. All of these used to be seasonal steamers, uh, you know, and the Loch Fine and the Loch Nevis and the Maids, the Ashton, the Argyle, the Skelmerley. Was the four maids or three? The Maid of Ashton, the Maid of Argyle, the Maid of Skelmerley, and the Maid of Cumbry, there was four, all built around 1953, but at separate yards, A and G Ingalls built some, and I think the um, Ilsa Shipbuilding built some as well. So there you are. You would have loved it, John. You could go and see them. Riches Ferries, fantastic. There we are. And Roy, when I wasn't around, Roy could handle the 65-foot MFV himself. If I said to Roy, there were no phones in these or mobile phones. If I said, Roy, I'm not going to make the run or something, he'd say, that's okay, we'll see you later. And uh, he would he would come out the wheelhouse. He would flash in a dark winter's night, full of full of people from Coolport. He would flash the searchlight on coming into the pier and then flash it off again just to see where his, his line was, maneuver her alongside and then come out the wheelhouse and put a side rope on tied to the gantry. Remarkable man. And at that age, Roy was about 67. Scotty boy, dinky do. Absolutely, beachy, beachy. Great videos, absolutely. Uh, Sammy's gone. Yeah, you smell Sammy as well. Uh, we ever bring the phones back? Jam, 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 jam. We're, the problem that we've got is risk averse people. It might be worth speaking to the people at GB News to see if they wanted a late night phone in. You know, that sort of stuff. See if I ever get the chance to go on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Can I phone you for phone a friend? Beachy, beachy. Give it a whirl, my dear fellow, because I'm not too bad at that one. And University Challenge. Phone a friend. Uh, who would you like to phone? Uh, Scotty McClure. And it will be funny to see if he goes, who's that? There we go, dinky do. Uh, Ricky Fulton known as One Take. I, too, was at the last show, The Kings of Glasgow. John Young, amazing. You're some man, I'll tell you. Uh, did they not live in Coatbridge? Who was that? Uh, Susie Babe. Susie Babe! Lovely to have you with us. Uh, are you talking Ricky Fulton and Jack Mulroy? No, they didn't live in Coatbridge. Jack lived in the West. They both lived in the West End. In fact, they both lived almost diametrically opposite from each other. Uh, good evening, Scotty. How are you this evening? Not if it's our airspace. Ah, right, JD, yes. So there we are. And, um, well, I won't ask. I won't ask if you, you could pay a visit somewhere else. Sorry, what did I miss? I had someone on the phone from the institution. Ah, Charles, yes. Are they advising you about your condition or changing the medication or what, what's on the go, Charles? Uh, so there we go. Here's a, a half-witted idiot called Killian. And Killian says, shut, lad, honestly. So, Killian, I think you should shop. And, in fact, I will shop you. There you go. And I will shop you. There's Killian leaving us, guys. Da -da -da, doing the swanee with Killian. Guys, I must go. I'm out of time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita, zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Night, night, my beautiful, beautiful people. Da-da-las. <laughs>